Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Aries October 30, 2022. Jupiter heads back into your solar fourth house today, where it will stay until December 20th. This planet of abundance resumes its themes of upgrades and enhancements related to your home, family, and personal life. Living arrangements and conditions can improve. You can feel very fulfilled, although not very venturesome. Much of the time, inner and personal experiences hold far more appeal than your more worldly pursuits in the period ahead. There can be joy in straightening out around the home front, and some unfinished work might resume. Today, the moon in your sign keeps you emotionally engaged. Still, your observation skills are strong. Money matters can improve, or you might take steps that put you in a better financial position. Today, your planetary ruler, Jupiter, leaves behind his feisty energy in the skies of a fellow fire sign to venture back into the water element. As he revisits the seas of Pisces, you are being given a chance to reflect and review your innate spiritual nature and how it is reflected in your personal and romantic life. Don't just brush your deep emotions under the rug. This is a time to really assess and review the soulmate connections you presently have as well as ones from your past. Understand what each one has taught you. Feel the fire. You may have worked through your passion projects and creative endeavors during Jupiter retrograde in Aries over the last few months. Each opportunity presented to you may have given you perspective on capitalizing on your talent. By now, you may feel more self-assured with your capabilities. As your attention shifts, you may feel more focused on creating an intuitive work and life balance and work environment when Jupiter retrograde enters Pisces today. Take a step back to consider what you need before you continue working in your sacred spaces or move forward with your work and life balance. In the lead up to the moon's return to your income sector tomorrow, this is an important point in any month for having your antennas up while taking a wait and see approach. While this will be an ordinary monthly visit, this first visit since Pluto's direct turn three weeks earlier will be both a valuable chance to check in and the push needed to get things moving. Today's celestial energy makes us all seek balance in a profound way. You are no exception to this, although you may think of yourself as someone who isn't that interested in profound thinking. You prefer to get out the door and do something rather than sit at home and belabor the point. Well, this is why they invented yoga. Get out the door and sit on the floor of a yoga studio, if possible, or find a virtual class. A regular practice will help you profoundly. This is going to be a good day coming up. Indeed, this period will be good for working, taking on responsibilities and making some constructive decisions. You have everything you need for success, but you should have more confidence in yourself. Make an effort and don't lose sight of your objectives and what you have decided on doing. If you are in the middle of a project, it's time to make it concrete. In terms of the people in your life, get together with your friends, if possible, and multiply opportunities for having fun together. While a clash between the moon, as it makes its monthly visit to Sagittarius and Mars, in his final days in direct motion in your relationship sector could push some buttons, the timing couldn't be better. This is a valuable chance to flush out any issues before Mars turns retrograde but also while he has the full support of Mercury, the planet of communication. It was their friendly aspect two days ago that has already given the communication lines a boost, with a chance to take advantage of this today. Jupiter may have retrograde back out of your romantic sector yesterday but not only will he be back within two months but the moon is helping to amplify the still strong support that matters of the heart have. It is a friendly aspect to the dwarf planet Eris, the warrior princess of the cosmos that makes it clear that the spirit of romance is still in safe hands, though in a more subtle way. Our eyes in the sky. You have to dig in your heels with the astrological aspects of this day. The Sagittarius moon heightens the intensity and adds a lot of personal pressure to succeed and perform. The name of the game right now is your feelings being on display for the whole world to see, with a major chronic feeling of judgment showing up seemingly out of nowhere. 
Neptune's fresh outlook in the area of romance and partnership gets some fireballs from an enlightening square to the lunar body, and your dating life could experience some very steamy developments almost immediately. There might be some progress in your social life. Just be careful not to lose your head. This could even bring some influential connections and messages that pop up out of the blue. Someone has you on their mind, and they aren't letting up. For many, Neptune's energy creates an obsessive quality that can be difficult to explain unless you've been through it before. Soulmate and twin flame connections are really getting this on a level so deep it could be hard to get certain people out of your mind. These are tough transits for anyone going through an emotional affair, especially if a third party is involved. This could feel like utter hell. Remember that this is the season in which everyone is being asked to step into their personal power. If you're giving your energy to someone who doesn't reflect it back, they aren't the right person for you. In the pre-dawn hours, the Sagittarius moon trines Chiron in Aries. At this time, we see our past wounds, not as necessary to our journey of personal evolution, but as chapters in a story that is uniquely our own. Pain is never required for our growth. Navigating pain doesn't inherently make us better people. And yet, there is pain, and as we face it, we learn about ourselves. It may not be until years down the line, when we are sharing our story with someone, or helping them to address their own anxieties, that we become aware that our path of healing has a ripple effect on those around us. If we had not gone through our struggle, we would not be able to guide another in this moment. Who are you able to help today? To whom can you offer courage, hope, and inspiration because of your lived experiences? In the late morning, the moon sextiles Saturn in Aquarius, making us a rock for others. Our optimistic attitude uplifts and inspires, yet our dependable nature affirms we can be turned to in a time of need. We show our support through deeds and actions. If we require help, we can consult family, trusted advisors, and close friends. Guidance can be found in fleeting interactions. We may even receive messages from those who have passed on, 